Hello and welcome to the Drizzle ORM course. In this course, we will explore the key benefits and features of Drizzle ORM and Drizzle Kit. But before we begin, I will share a quick story on my experience with ORMs. I first heard about ORMs in web dev school over a decade ago, but never thought much of it until I started working with Ruby on Rails back in 2013. Working with objects instead of raw SQL became the norm for me. Since then, here's a list of ORMs I've worked with over the course of several different jobs. I remember reading this article and I'm pretty sure it influenced how I thought about ORMs. At one point I got into using Connex, which is a query builder for Node. Query builders are kind of a middle ground between raw SQL and using an ORM, where you can write JavaScript that looks like SQL. And I've worked on projects where the backend APIs were built using database drivers like Tedious for SQL Server or PG for Postgres. Using these libraries, you can query your database using raw SQL strings in your code. So that brings us to today. Why Drizzle? First, I needed a data solution to go with the full stack Next.js apps and tutorials I was building, ideally something in TypeScript, since that is the Next.js default. Second, I was using raw SQL with PG, but I quickly realized you end up wasting time implementing a lot of the query building features that you'd get from using a library. Third, when I'm in the market for a new tool, I do a search on Google, find the top three options, try them out, and pick one. Drizzle happened to have the least amount of friction in getting started, so I stuck with it. Nothing against the other options, I just pick whatever's easiest to use. In my opinion, here are the main reasons to use Drizzle. Number one, the push command. This command allows you to sync your schema to your database. This has saved me a non-trivial amount of time while prototyping apps. Number two, migration generator. Once my prototype is done, I want to have a SQL file in my Git history. Well, now I can use this command to generate a SQL migration file. Previously, I had to write these migration files by hand. Number three, both SQL-like queries and relational queries. If you know SQL, then the SQL-like queries has a low learning curve. If you prefer an ORM, the ORM also has a low learning curve. I use both. If I need to fetch one object, I tend to use the ORM since there is a find first method, and then I don't have to pop the first object off the result set. If I need to do joins, I'll use the SQL-like query builder since the ORM relation setup is somewhat verbose, and I'm a lazy programmer. In a nutshell, Drizzle is a headless ORM, which gives you a bunch of optional tools that help you speed up your workflow. And you get the best of both worlds when it comes to mapping your objects or building your queries. Oh, and there's Drizzle Studio, a database client which lets you run raw SQL and test out your Drizzle queries. Here are some of the things we'll cover in this course. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.